But you, on the other hand, sent your son over there. You're, you're selling access to the president just like he was. So you you're got a damn answer. liar, man. That's not true. And no one has ever said that? No one the has proved that? I no. see, I you said, said I set up my son to work in an oil company. Isn't that what you said? I Get your words straight, Jack. To, be, to call Biden a criminal. Why is that? He is a criminal. He's a criminal. He got caught. Read his laptop. And you know who's a criminal? You're a criminal for not reporting it. You are a criminal for not reporting it. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit like, share my videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also, make sure that your notifications are on and they're set to all. Now, let's get into this. But first, quick commercial break. Now, if you watch Kevin's Corner regularly, you will know that Noble Gold is one of our sponsors. And they now have thousands of clients who found the secret of gold and silver for their retirement plans right here. And now for the month of March with any qualified IRA above 20K, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin or a five ounce American the beautiful silver coin for anything over 50K. You know what to do. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or you can visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. Now, let's get to this video. Leading up to the 2020 presidential election, the Biden campaign hit a roadblock, a New York Post report about a laptop that landed at a Delaware repair shop apparently belonging to the president's son, Hunter. On that laptop, a trove of emails detailing Hunter's apparent business dealings, including an effort to connect his father, then Vice President Biden, to a Ukrainian energy company where Hunter sat on the board. But the effort to suppress the story came almost immediately. Social media outlets began limiting sharing of the story on their platforms. Facebook calling the move an effort to, quote, reduce the spread of misinformation. Then President-elect Biden also waded into the waters. Do you still think that the stories from the fall about your son Hunter were Russian disinformation? Yes, yes, yes. But a New York Times report this week confirming the authenticity of the laptop now over a year removed from the first report by the New York Post, the effort to kill the original story is under the spotlight. So what about the Americans who really today only want me to ask you about Hunter Biden's laptop? How are you going to get them to see that you are fighting for them when they're so dead the way, set against you? It's, it's, there's nothing to any of that. Nothing to any of that. It's all a smear. Every major outfit, every serious investigator has pointed out that this is a smear. This is classic Trump. We have four days left, and all of a sudden there's a laptop. And you may, you may recall there's also talk about four months before there was a similar thing that somebody had, allegedly. There's overwhelming evidence that from the intelligence community that the Russians are engaged. I mean, look, this is my son's an honorable man, and all the investigations that were done around the issue of what was going on in Ukraine, if you notice, Every one of the major people who worked for Trump during the impeachment went under oath and under oath said Biden did his job. No law was broke. Biden, this Biden, did his job. Hunter Biden broke no laws. That was the testimony. Their testimony from Republicans and intelligence community people. Please respond and then we're going to have follow-up questions. If this stuff is true questions. about Russia, Ukraine, China, other countries, Iraq, if this is true, then he's a corrupt politician. Right. So don't give me the stuff about how you're this innocent baby. Joe, they're calling you a corrupt politician. Nobody. Hey, President the Trump, I want to stay hell. on the issue Excuse of race. Me. We're Take talking about the, the issue. from hell. President Trump, Nobody. we're talking about race right now, and I do want to stay on the issue of race. President Trump, I have to respond to that Please. because, look, Very there are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. They have said that this is, has all the care. Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend, Rudy Gianni. You mean the laptop is now another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And you that's exactly it. what, is this that's where you're exactly going? what This is going. where he's going. The that, laptop right. is Russia, yes. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia? I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President? again with Russia. I think that the stories from the fall about your son Hunter were Russian disinformation at his ear campaign, like you said. Yes, yes, yes.
I know you'd ask it. I have no response. It's another smear campaign. It's the last ditch effort in this desperate campaign to smear me and my family. The vast majority of the intelligence people have come out and said there's no basis at all. It, it seems pretty clear that Hunter Biden was uh, trading on his father's name to make a lot of money. Whether it's um, the, the crack cocaine where he's looking at years in federal prison and he can probably thank his father for some of the sentencing enhance enhancements on crack cocaine to the money laundering that you see and the more complex you may, you're gonna see up to 20, 30 years in federal prison based on the amounts of money, which is uh, how you sentence in the federal system on, on some of these money laundering and other tax issues. You do it based on the, the amount of money that's in question and here it would be millions of dollars. Of the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Adam Schiff. Uh, Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. Does it surprise you at all that this information Rudy Giuliani is peddling uh, very well could be connected to some sort of Russian government disinformation campaign? Well, we know that this whole uh, smear on Joe Biden uh, comes from the Kremlin. There is anything real in them. Yeah, but and that didn't stop any from, from, from reporting the Mueller and the dossier and all that I stuff. You're now, I understand that you have a lot of resentment oh, about this. Now, now we have ethics. Okay, now we have ethics. Now that now it's da don't you dare. Don't you dare act like newsrooms didn't have ethics in 2017 and 2018. Well, I you know, know they, they did. did. Oh, well, you can't, you can don't dare me all you want, Brian. I've been doing this for 30 years. So say whatever you want. It's my view. And I have a right to say it. I was so invited your on view the is You're not just seeing, you got to see the forest through the trees. You got to look at this particular story about the Hunter Biden. Yeah, but no one looked through the forest through the trees with the president. I mean, it's always one-sided. Now it's time to look at the forest. I, all I'm saying is let's do it universally. I agree with you. It should not be ignored. But not. A, I think there's a difference between reporters looking into it in their newsrooms versus going on the air with it when it's unvetted. And what oh, we're in sure. right now is it's break. You never did that with Trump stuff. That, that's just the BS. Biden secret email. She story. The Post claimed that the emails were found on a laptop computer that was brought to a repair shop in Delaware in the spring of 2019. Matt, shut up. I've had enough of you. The FBI is now investigating whether those alleged Hunter Biden emails are actually connected to a larger foreign intelligence operation. They may be related to a foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence operation. For all we know, these emails are made up. I hope that CNN become born again as a good media. The information found on the laptop may be part of a Russian disinformation campaign. Part of a Russian uh, disinformation uh, effort. Described by many intelligence experts as having hallmarks. All the hallmark, hallmarks, rather. All the hallmarks of a Russian. Or Russian. Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation. Disinformation campaign. Let me tell you something. Joe Biden is a criminal, and he's been a criminal for a long time, and you're a criminal in the media for not reporting it. Influence peddling, and here we are, Maria, 17 months after the New York Post broke that bombshell regarding emails from Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop. The paper finally gets around to confirming its authenticity. But even if you go into that time story, you got to go okay. 24 paragraphs down before they mention anything about the laptop. So here we are. It's the bias of omission on steroids and collusion. We heard about it so much during the Trump campaign in 2016. No, the real collusion was in 2020 between social media squashing this story, locking the New York Post and Kelly McEnany, the White House press secretary, course, out of their accounts, that. along with the Trump campaign, and then mainstream media dismissing the story, saying this is based on Russian disinformation. Nothing to see here. Now, only now that Joe Biden is over the finish line in the Oval Office, are we hearing about, oh, yeah, maybe it's real after all. What a joke. The president has said, and you have tweeted, that allegations of wrongdoing based on files pulled from Hunter Biden's laptop are Russian disinformation. There is a new book by a political reporter that finds some of the files on there are genuine. Is the White House still going with Russian disinformation? I think it's broadly known and widely known, Peter, that there was a broad range of Russian disinformation back in 2020. Okay. More. Um, the New York Times has authenticated emails that appear to have come from a laptop abandoned by Hunter Biden in Delaware. Um, the president previously said that the New York Post story about this was a bunch of garbage and that it was a Russian plant. Does he stand by that assessment? I pointed to the Department of Justice and also to Hunter Biden's representatives. He doesn't work in the government. Go ahead. And if I may, um, you asked about Hunter Biden's laptop. You also, in October 2020, dismissed it 
as Russian disinformation. Do you stand by that assessment? Again, uh, I'd point you to the Department of Justice and Hunter Biden's representatives. Um, I'm a spokesperson for the United States. He doesn't work for the United States. We have some brand new CNN reporting. A Justice Department investigation on Hunter Biden, the president's son, has intensified over the last several months. The investigation has been going on since 2018, and this stems from Biden's business dealings, from Hunter Biden's business dealings in foreign countries like Ukraine, while his father was serving as vice president. Sources tell CNN that President Biden is not being investigated in relation to his son's dealings. Uh, joining me now is CNN senior justice correspondent Evan Perez and CNN senior legal analyst Ellie Honig. Uh, Evan, just lay out your reporting here because this is very, very bad for the president's son. It, it is, and it's an investigation, as you pointed out, going back to 2018. And, and right now, prosecutors in Delaware uh, are, are focusing on a number of things, including whether Hunter Biden and, and some of his business associates uh, violated laws, including tax and money laundering laws and foreign lobbying laws. A lot of this has to do with Hunter Biden's time working with uh, this company called Burisma, an energy company in Ukraine. He was getting paid as much as $50,000 a month for that company during a time that the uh, Joe Biden, his father, was vice president, was in charge of handling Ukraine issues for the Obama administration. And that, of course, raised questions of, of a conflict. And so what we know is this investigation, you know, for a while, uh, it has been going on. And, and it seemed to not, not a lot was going on until recently. Uh, a lot of activity has picked up. We've no witnesses have gone in to talk to the grand jury in Delaware. We know of witnesses who are going in to talk to investigators in the next few weeks. So we know that there's a lot of activity now picking up. Uh, he's not been charged. Uh, he says that there, uh, Hunter Biden uh, says that he committed no wrongdoing and that he says at the end of this, he believes he'll be cleared. But obviously, as you pointed out, this is a a political mess for the sitting president to have his son being investigated by the Justice Department, his own Justice Department. Yeah, he was making a lot of money doing something he definitely should not have been doing while his dad was vice president and right. overseeing that portfolio. Ellie, how do you see this? Well, Brianna, this is a very real, very substantial investigation of potentially serious federal crimes. We are seeing federal prosecutors in Delaware do exactly what you would expect to see federal prosecutors do in this situation. They're talking to witnesses. They're bringing people into the grand jury. They're issuing subpoenas. And I would expect, as Evan reported, they're now gaining steam and they need to make a decision, I think, in the at least intermediate future. This case has been going on for four years, and there is a realistic chance this could result in federal charges. Of course, then we'd be in unprecedented political territory, not legal territory, but a situation of having potentially the Justice Department prosecuting and trying to imprison the son of the president. Yeah, you mentioned politics. I mean, politics, Ellie, have factored into so much of this from the interest in this case by President Trump and his associates as well. That's actually something that I think may have backfired in, in a way uh, initially in this. Let me tell you something. Joe Biden is a criminal and he's been a criminal for a long time. And you're a criminal in the media for not reporting it. God bless you. God bless America. Don't forget to hit that like button, share my videos, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. And please check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like their products, please click on the link below this video. Put Kevin in a promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. If you'd like to donate to Kevin's Corner, feel free. The links are below this video if you want to be a part of my $2 a month club. Also, feel free to do that. All it entails is you simply dropping two bucks a month into one of those links below the video. Or if you want, you can drop a nice big fat lump sum in there to offset the stuff that we know goes on with Big Tech. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Make sure that you are still subscribed. And finally, set your notification button to all because YouTube is playing games, y'all. Now, God bless you. God bless America. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.